Hello scientists, Jeff here. Um, today I'm going to be guiding you on a wonder walk. What is a wonder walk, you ask? Well, scientific discoveries are born out of a sense of wonder. As we move through the world, we encounter problems or things that make us curious. <clears throat> and when we try to solve those problems, we have a sense of wonder. What is it that makes electricity flow through certain metals and not others? What is it that makes plants grow better in some soils than others? It's that sense of wonder that we want to cultivate, that we want to grow inside of us as, uh, as we grow as scientists. So today, to help cultivate that, to help that grow inside of us, we are going to go on a wonder walk. And it's going to take us to three places. The first place is going to be uh, somewhere in uh, our house. So actually, I encourage you to walk around your house a little bit, walk around a little bit, so I'm walking around, and try to find a place in your house that uh, that has um, something that catches your attention, that, that maybe you wonder about. We're looking here because we're studying ecology, the, the, the study of living things. We're looking for living things in our house. Now, I see my cat walking around my table there, but he might not be a good thing to observe because he's moving around a lot, and I don't want to go over there right now. But I do see some plants. I see a plant actually behind me here. I don't know if you can see it too well, but it's growing in the corner here, and it gets a lot of light. And I have a very similar plant uh, in my kitchen. Now, <clears throat> my goal here is to is to sit and observe in one place for a few minutes. Now, you might be thinking, well, Jeff, the plant isn't going to move around. What am I going to observe? Well, that's true. You're right. The plant isn't going to move around. But as I sit and observe for a few minutes, there are things that I might notice in uh, after a couple minutes that I might not have noticed before. Now, from here, it might look like an ordinary plant, and there's not anything too special about it. But as I get closer, and as I really look at it more closely, uh, what kind of details do I notice? What things do I notice about the leaves? It's a beautiful plant, really. Are there certain parts of it that are growing better than others? Is it growing in any particular direction? How does the plant know where to grow? Do the leaves point in a specific direction? Do you notice a pattern in the direction that the leaves are pointing? We have to sit and observe. That's what scientists do. The longer we observe, the more that we'll notice. So there are three parts to your wonder walk. The first part, you will sit in a part of place in your house and observe a living thing. It could be an animal uh, uh, or a plant. Uh, and um, or maybe neither. Maybe there's a natural phenomena, the light moving through your house. Does, it, does the light hit the same place every day when it uh, is uh, coming into your house? Um, do you notice any rainbows in your house like I do? What do you notice in your house uh, that is connected to nature or the natural world? You might be surprised. We're gonna write down what we see, what we smell, uh, what you hear. But, but especially, uh, we're trying to look closely for how living things are interacting in your house uh, with the natural world. Um, next, you're going to spend a few minutes looking outside of your house. Do you have a tree uh, maybe outside of your house that you can observe? Try to think of a place that's near your house that's easy to observe, where you might see some, some uh, living things and the way that they interact with the natural world. Do you notice mo moss growing on one side of a tree and not the other side? Do you notice squirrels uh, that are uh, climbing around or building a nest? Do you notice any birds landing in that tree? That's the, that's the second thing you're going to do, and you'll spend a few minutes doing that. And again, I know you'll be tempted to say, ah, I don't see anything. Uh, but no, really try to look closely, look deeply. What do you see? What do you notice? What do you think that other people might miss that they wouldn't notice? And the very last thing you'll do is you'll step outside of your house and you'll go for a walk. <clears throat> this is really the walking part of the Wonder Walk. And you're going to walk along. Now, I love to walk around uh, my block, so I might go for a walk around the block. Or maybe you have uh, a great spot in your yard that you like to sit. Maybe you have a park nearby that you like to hang out in. Well, find uh, a cool place that you can observe. And I can observe while I'm walking along. I can uh, notice the, the more I move, the more things I am likely to see. So as I walk, walk along, I see uh, a squirrel's nest up in the tree there. As I walk along, I see plants growing on rocks. As I walk along, um, I see a great many things. 
Or maybe you want to sit still in one spot and observe one place for a long time. Do you know where any animals nest near your house? There's that squirrel nest behind me. Do you know a place where birds like to congregate? Try to find a place that you can sit and observe or walk and observe. The important thing is you'll have your notebook ready and a pencil and you are ready to write down what you see and observe. Have some fun with this work. Scientists, I can't wait to see what you accomplish.